Welcome to the City Council meeting for November 21st, uh, 5th. Would you please join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to once again uh, welcome Councilors elect Shirley Azak <laughs> and Shana Barnes tonight. Thank you. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. A moment of personal privilege, if I, if I may. You may. Uh, I'd like to uh, take a moment, first of all, to, to welcome some great Brocktonians to the chamber tonight. There is a core group of, of dedicated, uh, really vested residents in the city of Brockton, and they go by the, uh, the group name Helping to Unite Brockton Cleanup Crew. And if you're not familiar with, uh, with the hub or what these individuals are doing is, they're going around to different locales within the city of Brockton for months on their own time, and they're cleaning and beautifying and really doing yeoman's work in the city of Brockton. And I thought it was appropriate to have uh, these individuals uh, that care so much about our community to come in tonight, first of all, be recognized by the council, uh, but more importantly, uh, to make sure that the general public, the people here in the city of Brockton, understand, uh, and, and if they'd like to join this group, uh, there's always a, a welcome. Um, but I, I, I thought it would be really uh, the right thing to do going into the holiday season to, first of all, recognize these people. They're young. Uh, uh, they're, they're middle-aged, they're elderly. There's a good mix of great people that are doing really great things in the city of Brockton, uh, working in conjunction uh, with the city. The city's picking up some stuff. But uh, they took it upon their own accord to, to, to say, you know what, we want to clean this area, and we want to clean this area. And a lot of these people did not even know each other. Uh, they didn't live uh, close to each other, but they formed uh, a bond, a friendship, and they're really doing, like I said, just wonderful, wonderful things. So. Uh, if I could just take a moment, if you are, are a proud member of this group, if you could please stand right now. And, uh, I'd, I'd like, if there's no objections, Mr. President, I'd like to have two individuals just come forward uh, and maybe explain briefly um, some of the locations and, uh, and how other Brocktonians that are watching or here tonight uh, could get involved. Uh, Mr. Jacob Tagger, and then the youngest of, of the crew here, Austin, if you could come forward. Excuse me, which one of you is Austin? <laughs> which one of you is Austin? You <laughs> one. How are you? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You want to say thank you? Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, come on, brother. Come on, brother. Um, I want to make sure I bring up a few more of the members now, my friends. Call her Mama P, Linda P. She probably cleans up more than all of us. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and, of course, Donna, since Donna is our speaker now. She can just tell a little bit about the group. Yeah. Oh, you put me on the spot. I love <laughs> Hi. Don't know what I'm saying, but, like, areas we cleaned up that we're most proud of, I think, is the snow clock is one that looks absolutely beautiful. Thanks to Chet going in there and planting flowers, and now it's all decorated for the holiday season. Um, Keith School we just did, the E.B. Keith Park we just did, uh, the Community Garden on Legion Parkway, not Legion Parkway, Frederick Douglass. The police um, station twice. The police station twice. My yard. His <laughs> yard. <laughs> that wasn't one of our regular cleanups, though. That was a side job. But every Sunday we want to keep going. Keith Park, Keith Park and oh, sorry, as as you people, as you all speak to your neighbors, your encourage them to join us. We just want to get bigger next year. We want groups for every ward in the city. So help us out on that, and we'll keep helping you out. Also, I would like to recognize that again we're all neighbors here, city council residents. Um, appreciate that you guys are recognizing us here. I want to make sure I recognize Mr. McMillan, who was there at our first cleanup, and others. Um, Mr. Petty, who was there with us at the Keith School. He actually initiated us going down there, and he was right there with us. And Mr. Brophy at the um, Keith Park. Um, that was a lot of fun, too, so pulling weeds. <laughs> By hand, too, no tools. And again, um, thank you. Um, Councilman um, Sullivan for inviting us here um, and just basically thank you. 
And is there a website or a uh, email they can go to, to if they want to add on? We're working on the website. It's uh, sort of just getting going. Um, but our email address is help to unite Brockton at Comcast.net, and it's help the number two unite Brockton at Comcast.net. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We also want to thank all of the counselors who have helped us, and in the spirit of neighborhood and neighbors helping neighbors. We know that one of your big issues coming up will be the new budget, and it's always difficult to find money in the budget. Santa's helpers were a little bit busy helping out the um, Patriots and also helping with the weather this weekend, but Santa asked me to come and deliver to each one of you a million dollar bar, just in case you need it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Again, uh, Mr. Thank President, members of the council, I just, uh, I just thought it was appropriate uh -huh. tonight, and uh, I do expect uh, to see many, many more residents of the city of Brockton that are going to join this group uh, as we go in uh, past the winter into the summer into the spring. And again, I just want to thank each and every one of you for the time that you put in to better Brockton. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're going to take a two-minute recess.
Mr. Clerk, item number one. The appointment of a landed material, 50 Highland Street, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Item number two. Petition of Court Street Service for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 65 Court Street in Clerk's Office, September 12, 2013. Hearing is signed for November 25, 2013 at 8 p.m. All paperwork is on file with no objections from the uh, Fire Department. Councilor DiNapoli. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to move uh, to postpone this till the next City Council meeting. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to postpone until the next City Council meeting. All those in favor? Opposed? Postponed. Item number three. Petition of Prestige Car Wash Realty, LLC, for an underground storage license located at 245 North Pearl Street in Clerk's Office, October 8, 2013. Hearing is signed for November 25, 2013. Letter from the Fire Department with no objections and all necessary paperwork is on file in the Clerk's Office. Time having arrived for the hearing. Uh, for those that are uh, present and speaking in favor of, please come to the podium. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Council Ryan Airy and members Good evening. of the Council. Attorney Creedon. Um, the owners are here. Um, it's a standard situation. We're requesting two 15,000 gallon underground storage up at the uh, Prestige Car Wash situation. We've been through zoning, uh, we've been preliminarily sent through uh, the site review. Uh, and now we're here for this situation. Uh, they're compartmentalized. In other words, there'll be uh, 10,000 gallons in one that's for regular fuel, 5,000 for diesel. In the other one, which is comp compartmentalized, there'll be 10,000 for regular fuel and 5,000 for super. It's your very standard thing. As you know, this is regulated by the state. Uh, from a safety point of view, so the, the, the council should have no concerns, and I know you've done these before. Um, they're totally double-walled and have monitoring systems 24-7. Um, uh, again, it's totally regulated by the state also and monitored and checked regularly. We'll have at least two employees on premises at all times, and there'll be the proper ballots and everything else for safety. Any questions? Councillor Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a question now. Are these, just, uh, are these replacement or are these additional uh, storage? These will be new, new, new storage. New storage, new uh, pumps also? Or? New pumps. There'll be, uh, there'll be four, what they call four regular pumps with eight dispensers on either side. It's just like the Hess and the Mobile that are there oh, yeah. on each side. So eight, eight total pumps, uh, excuse me, uh, dispensers, but only four pumps. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Any other uh, Questions for the attorney while he's here. Is there anybody else present here in favor that wish, wishes to be heard at this particular time? I'd ask that they come forward and come to the, uh, to the podium and uh, state their name and address. No one? Is there anyone here in, uh, not in favor of? Uh, I'd ask that they come forward to the podium and give their name and address in regards to this matter. Seeing as none, I'm going to declare the hearing closed at, at that particular time. Question is on granting. Question is on granting. All in favor? Opposed? Yes. So granted. Thank you. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of November 18, 2013. Strike that. Petition to amend stipulations of the motor vehicle repair license on North Side Auto Repair Inc., 774 North Main Street, Brockton. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please uh, give your name to the clerk. And uh, uh, Lynn Calaruso. Vincent Calaruso. Thank you. Mr. President. Council McMillan. Uh, fellow Councilors, uh, we had stipulations, strict stipulations on this, co on this company for a long time, and I felt that they've been doing a great job lately, uh, well, f since I've been Council for the past year. So I'm, stricken, I'm striking the old stipulations <laughs> and institution, this new, new uh, stipulations for the business, which uh, is as follows. Uh, 17, car, 17 car maximum on a lot and in the garage. Outside repair for emergency only. Um, 
which Mr. Colorus explained to me that he does a lot of uh, work with plows and they can't fit into his garage and his f the former stipulations were he couldn't do any outside work so uh, they, they blow a lot of hydraulic lines and such so um, that's what that's all about. Uh, no outside storage of parts for more than 72 hours in the gated area. Uh, business hours were Monday to Friday 7 to 7, Saturday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, no resident uh, residential uh, on, pres president on premises, no retail uh, of alcohol or dairy products, dumpster must be fenced in in, in accordance to our ordinances, uh, agreed to, he agrees to comply with all local ordinances and state laws and no outside vending machines or telephones. Uh, the clerk has the stipulations. Okay, and I'll take those under advisement until the hearing Thank goes you. then you can make your motion. Uh, any other questions? Uh, Council Stewart. Uh, Mr. President, actually um, no questions, but I will speak in, on behalf of uh, this business owner in Brockton who I've had the fortune of getting to know very well and I actually go to your establishment and I think you guys run a very uh, upstanding uh, operation and I'm happy to see that those restrictions are, are removed so that you can um, do a better job of what business owners do, which is try to try to grow. So um, I'm certainly in favor of this. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? If so, would they step forward, give their name to the clerk. Uh, my name is Charles Colarusso. Uh, I'm a resident. Uh, your mother owns it. Uh, my my mother actually owns the building, and um, we've been uh, actually. It was um, uh, North Shore. A booty actually uh, had ran the place. And now my brother has purchased the business, and we, in order to go and be successful, we would like to go and have the stipulations uh, removed. Thank you. Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Mr. President, motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, motion is to on those stipulations. On the stipulations, yes. Second. Motion made and second on the stipulations. Uh, uh, vote is to grant as stipulated. All those in favor? Opposed? License is granted. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Have a good night. Item number five. The report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of November 18, 2013. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor submitting a letter of resignation from Deborah Bean from the Board of Trust Fund Commissioners. Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Chapter 27 zoning is hereby amended by adding Section 27-24.3, Medical Use of Marijuana. In Council, January 14, 2013, ready to refer to the Standing Committee of Ordinance and Planning. In Council, November 12, 2013, substitute ordinance passed by hand vote, passed to a third reading by hand vote. Favorable is amended. Question is to be ordained by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Teddy. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The ordinance is adopted. Mr. President. Councillor Ianeri. Mr. President, if I might, I'd like to move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Item number eight. The appointment of Daniel Campbell, 16 Belcher Avenue, as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years in council November 12, 2013. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and affirmative. The order is adopted. On an appropriation of $4,500 from unappropriated estimate receipts to auditor's office fund deficit recovery. In council, October 28, 2013. Before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. 
an appropriation of $1,900,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts to the Stabilization Fund in order to fully appropriate the city's fiscal 2014 estimated revenues prior to the property tax classification hearing in Council October 28, 2013. Referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and eight permanent. The order is adopted. It's President. Oh, Councilor Brophy. President moved for reconsideration. The hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded for reconsideration. The hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Appropriation totaling $100,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts for the general fund, the general fund revenue subsidy of the Parks, Recreation, Enterprise Fund, $50,000, and from unappropriated revenue of the Park, Recreation, Enterprise to Park, Recreation, Enterprise Personal Services, other than overtime, $50,000. In Council, October 28, 2013, referred to finance. The report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $300,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts to the water fund, the stabilization fund, in order to reserve <coughs> the cost for the water utility, which are not directly paid by its budget. In Council, October 28, 2013, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. 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 Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Well, Councilor Brophy. I move for reconsideration on items 11 and 12 in the hopes that it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration on items 11 and 12 in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. Order that the City Council authorize the approval of the Solar Net Meter Credit Agreement between 126 Grove Solar LLC and the City of Brockton, a copy of which is attached here too. This agreement is for the purchase of solar power from a solar plant which will save the city in electricity cost. In Council, October 28, 2013. Referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the students from Stonehill College classes on climate science and environmental ethics be invited to appear before a committee of this council to make a presentation on climate change. In council, November 12, 2013. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. It's that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the <coughs> call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. McMillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sudinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine the, the order is adopted. See these paper clips are jamming everything. Resolved that the Mayor, Chief Financial Officer, and the Personnel Director be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss limitations on contracts being presented to the City Council for a period of six months prior to a city election in Council November 12, 2013. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. No. Pioneer. Yes. McMillan. No. Juan Petty. No. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Four in the affirmative, five in the negative. The uh, resolve is not adopted. Uh, Council Sullivan. Mr. President, if I may, I have a late file relative to the report of the Ordinance Committee. Second. Motion made and seconded for a late file on behalf of the uh, report of the Ordinance Committee. All those in favor? Order is, uh, the uh, late file is accepted. Mr. Clerk. Report of the Ordinance Committee for its this meeting of November 20th, 2013. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. President. Uh, oh, in a minute, we're still on this one. Uh, we now will have the, uh, the, order, the order read. An order submitted Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. 
be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, Zoning of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map on the southerly side of Field Street, easterly of North Main Street, more particularly described as plots 109 and 110 Field Street, in Council September 23, 2013. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report is favorably favorable. Questions on sending to, uh, for a third reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Sent to uh, City Council. Third reading. An ordinance by which the City of Brockton accepts Mass General Laws Chapter 59, Section 5N, in order to authorize establishment of a program to allow veterans, as defined in Clause Mass General Laws Chapter 4, Section 7, Clause 43, to volunteer to provide services in exchange for reduction in real estate property tax obligations of that veteran on the veteran's tax bills which reduction shall be in addition to any exemption or abatement to which that person is otherwise entitled. In Council, February 25, 2013, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable as amended. Questions on the amendment? All those in favor? Opposed? The amendment carries. No, a third reading. Questions on sending to a third reading? All those in favor? Opposed? Sent to a third reading. Councilor Ian Erie. Thank you, um, Mr. President. Mr. Chair, there's oh, actually one more. Me, there is one more. My fault, as usual. <laughs> An ordinance of ending Chapter 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Administration, Article 4, Financial Affairs, is hereby amended by adding the following new section, 2-260, Senior Citizen Property <coughs> Work-Off Program, and Council July 23, 2013. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorable as amended. Questions on the amendments? All those in favor? Opposed? The amendments carry. Questions on uh, sending to a third reading? All those in favor? Opposed? The order is sent to, uh, for a third reading. Now we have to take Councilor Ranieri. Yes. Councilor Ranieri. You sure? Sure now. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, I'd yeah, like that to. football move game went late last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> at, at this time, I'd like to move for a late file and, if possible, suspend the rules and act on it also this evening. Second. Um, and just uh, the clerk has the late file, but just to, to be brief with it, it is in regards to our city seal and abuse of the city seal, and it is talking about how to increase its penalty. So I'll let the clerk read the uh, late file. Motion made and seconded uh, to accept the late file and to act on it this Oops. evening under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Clerk. An ordinance amending Chapter 2, Administration, Section 2-2, City Seal. Uh, the clerk is here if anybody has any questions. Otherwise, the question is on... Uh, Questions on adoption uh, by roll call vote. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. President. Mr. President. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mr. President, could, could the uh, clerk please uh, advise us? What he can. And, and to the public why this is so important? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. No, thank you. This, this ordinance is in effect. However, the penalty is very slight, and we're finding that it's being abused by the, the media, which is being abused on the uh, networks, websites, and even on buildings and uh, on solicitations. And that's only because there is a $50 fine, a one-time fine. However, we're recommending, as other cities and towns are, are doing, to increase that fine to $150 per day. And that seems to stop these violations. The Secretary of State's office is, uh, uh, is in effect, agrees with the, our attitude, the clerk's attitudes on the city seal that it should not be abused. Mr. President, uh, just for the public to should I stand. I uh, know you can you can sit. Uh, just for the public that a city seal is not to be used by anyone without permission from the city clerk. That's what we're talking about. A lot of these websites have been used for political reasons. They put the city seal on it, on it and they're using it, so it looks almost like it's an official website from the city of Brockton. So this is what this is all about. It's been being abused. It was abused this year, uh, this time uh, during the election. So. Uh, the clerk has uh, asked us to do this, and I'm, I'm definitely in favor of it. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Cruz. Yes. Annapoli. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Macmillan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 
Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Uh, any other business? Councillor Sullivan. Mr. President, a moment of personal purge if I could. You may. I want to, uh, I want to thank everybody that was involved yesterday in our, uh, our councillor-elect Shana Barnes, councillor-at-large, uh, was a master of ceremony. But the, the Santa, Santa Claus hat challenge, which was the fifth year, it was awful, bitter, bitter cold out there uh, on, on, on Saturday. But um, oh, actually, was it yesterday, Shana? The days start to blend with the game <laughs> last night. But um, I, I think, again, it just it speaks volumes for the people that really care about the community and uh, people that are out there braving the elements. I know Mr. Marion, John Marion, was involved in that as well. And, and Shana was there at 10 in the morning, and, uh, and, and she really uh, did a great job. And is going to be a good member of the council. So I just wanted to give my, uh, my two cents, and I'm sure it's welcomed by all the council. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. And it was cold. <laughs> Councilor DiNapoli. Mr. President, thank you. Moment of personal privilege. You may. Um, next uh, Monday night, uh, we have to have a real estate committee meeting at 6.45. We have one item on the agenda for those councilors who sit on the real estate. It will be at 6.45 uh, next Monday night. Oh, and uh, one other thing, just uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. I got that. <laughs> Uh, councilors, uh, due to uh, what we had on the agenda tonight, there will be no finance meeting next week. Uh, we will have regular council on the 9th, which we will be taking up the uh, tax factor, uh, setting the tax rate. Uh, so that will be a public hearing and we'll be doing the tax rate that night. And before we leave, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a happy Hanukkah to uh, my Jewish friends. So thank you very much and we're adjourned.